Hello, hello. I hope you're all doing well. Sorry if I start sounding like a boy. <laughs> this is because I've been on this for quite a minute and my voice is getting exhausted. Anyway, we're proceeding. This is, I think, part three of our long sections example. Um, I'd highly recommend that you catch up with the first two so that what we're doing makes sense. You don't want to be lost and confused and all of that. So in the previous video, we covered how to essentially um, locate and show your VPI and how to calculate your beginning of the vertical curve or your BVC and how to calculate your EVC or the end of your vertical curve. On today's video, we are swiftly going to move into calculations, which would be your grade calculations and then grade calculations and then your tangent grades, your offsets, final road levels and the like. So I'm assuming this could possibly be the last one because we won't be doing calculations manually as we go. I'll just be sharing some tips on how I go about it. So with your grade calculations, you're first going to calculate your G1, which is essentially the grade from your very first chainage until you get to the VPI. Then we're going to calculate your V, your G2, sorry, which will be the grade from your VPI to the very end of your road section. All right. So we have a formula for calculating your G1 and G2, but this formula is normally not given in exams. So I would, I would highly recommend, I know I've been recommending like, like all afternoon, but I highly recommend that you, I'd highly recommend that you keep this top of mind as well, just so it doesn't, doesn't escape you and then you make mistakes. So to calculate your G1, which I said is between your point A and your VPI, it's your level at the VPI minus the level at A divided by the chainage at the VPI minus the chainage at A. So it's essentially your levels over your chainages, then your end point minus your starting point. So remember, it's from it goes from your um, a to your VPI, so you are now considering what happens at A and what happens at the VPI, right? So, final road level for the VPI, final road level for the VPI. I know it just says level on the formula, but final road level on the VPI minus your final road level at A divided by the chainage at VPI minus the chainage at A, okay. So initially, or when you first look at it, it's easy to just see level at A, level at VPI, and take the values that you see on the table, but that would be a grave mistake because it's gonna give you incorrect figures or values. Do not use the values in the table. Use the given information. Remember, you were given the final road level at A and the final road level at C, and you have your level at VPI and you have your VPI chainage. Our VPI chainage is 410. Our chainage at A is 100. Our level at the VPI is 223.5, it was given. There we go, 223.5, it's the level at that VPI. And our final road level at A is 226.8. So make sure you plug and play accordingly. Don't use incorrect figures. So your formula will be 223.5 minus 226.8 divided by 410 minus 100 then whatever number you get it will be a negative something then you need to express that as a percentage so to take it from a number to a percentage you're gonna multiply by 100 and then you'll end up with a negative 1.0645161129 so you can just use three or four decimal places it will be negative 1.0645 okay then similarly for G2 we have our level at C minus the level at the VPI divided by the chainage at C minus the chainage at the VPI. Our final road level at C was given 225.10 um, or 0 0.10 minus the level at the VPI is 223.5. Then your chainage at C, the very last chainage was 550. Then your chainage at the VPI was given as 410 then you are going to get a value that's positive and get to you take that number and you express it as a percentage then you end up with 1.142857143% excuse me 
in taking that to three or four decimal places it's 1.143 1 or 1.1429 just depends on what you're trying to do but at this point your accuracy is not it's still a big deal but it doesn't affect much at this point yet it's safest to use the full number in your calculations because then you know that is the most accurate one you have then that is essentially how you calculate your grades that is your g1 and your g2 okay i think i should make a separate one for your tangent grades because it becomes a bit confusing once we get to that point if you have any questions i don't think i've said this in the previous video if you have any questions you can easily reach out to me use the comments you can email me whichever method works for you whichever method will get you your assistance as quickly as you can get it all right so that is on how to calculate this row your grades then once you've done calculating your values then we are essentially remember considering between point a and our vpi so we can trim anything that doesn't fall between those or anything that falls between those rather then how are you going to go about entering the information you're going to take a dimension from your point a to your vpi and of course it's skew is it skew oh no 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 sweetie why would you okay i'll move it i'll move it just now i don't know why it's doing that then you take another dimension it should have done that with you too it truly is madness true madness i'm just trying to move it here so it can look right okay so we have our first dimension second dimension but we're going to edit the dimensions we see on there so that i can represent our grades so our first one was negative one point zero six four five yeah that's good enough and the second one was one point one four two nine that's good enough as well yeah that's just about fine then we can just make it use a correct value a correct layer so that stuff doesn't go frozen or missing without us trying to make them go frozen or missing that's essentially how you represent your grade i should have shown this before saying i'll see you in the next video but now for real for real for real i'll see you in the next video when we calculate our tangent grades i hope you're following up to so far but let me know if at any point anything is becoming confusing all right cheerio